Hey Pisces, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. Are you guys ready for February's reading? Let's do February's reading, Pisces. I have all these cards out in front of me. We're going to do Pisces from start to finish for February. I will put a timestamp on this video so you guys know when the shuffling and chit chat stops so you can watch just the straight up uh, reading if that's what you so choose to do but Pisces we are going to do this from start to finish I got the handy dandy snazzy camera in camera thing going on for you guys right so we're going to do this from start to finish Pisces as you know if you're new to this channel you may not know but if you are a subscriber of mine you should know that I'm about to say no matter how much you may see yourself in this reading, this is not your personal reading, okay? General tarot card readings, um, the only place I know of general tarot card readings is YouTube. General tarot card readings are just the string that's happening with the planetary positions in the sky. Um, if you see yourself anywhere in this reading, Maybe it didn't start for you yet. Maybe you're in the middle of it. Maybe it's over for you. If you would like some more confirmation, clarity, wisdom, guidance, um, you have your own cards read. That's the only way to know your real journey, Pisces, is to have your own cards read. There's no other way. So if you see something in this reading that you um, would like to explore a little bit more, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Um, there's a lot of good tarot card readers around, but please make sure you get you a good one. Miriam Kramer, she's a good one. Make sure you get a good tarot card reader because somebody that is full of bullshit um, is going to fill you with bullshit. So there you go, Pisces, okay? All right, Pisces. So I'm going to do my thing over here. I'm going to shuffle, pray. I'll lay out 15 cards. We'll talk about them as I clarify them. We'll sew together a story, and we will read this, this badass reading that's about to come out for you. I can just feel it. It's exciting. I can feel it. I, too, am Pisces. If you're new to this channel again, I, too, am Pisces. I'm a Taurus, Taurus sun sign, but I am Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, and... Um, uh, Pisces uh, moon. So Taurus, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. Then again, it may not. Don't try to walk a mile in somebody else's moccasins, okay? If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. If you've been single and you have nobody coming back from the past or whatever this reading is going to produce, um, don't try to make it fit, okay? All right, here we go, Pisces. Ready? Oh, I got a flipper. Six of Cups in reverse keeps trying to show itself. So spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me. Spirit, what is it that Pisces needs to know? What is it that's coming down the road, Spirit? It would be so arrogant of me to assume that you can fit yourself in my box of February. But the next 28 days or so, Spirit, the next energy shift that Pisces is moving into, there we go, how about that? The justice. The next energetic shift that Pisces is moving into, Spirit, can you please give Pisces wisdom, guidance, confirmation, direction, Spirit? Spirit, as always, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them to Pisces in a way that Pisces can apply to their life. Please give me eyes to see and ears to hear. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle three more times. I'm going to cut three times, and I'm going to pull 15 cards off the top. Please arrange yourself the way you need to be seen. I'm going to go one, two, three two and three justice on the bottom of the deck that justice tried to come out a minute ago justice some kind of justice coming in for you pisces all right let's see what this is all about so we have the eight of swords in reverse this is releasing the mental to the nine of wands persistent resistant i'm sorry persistent resilient right possibly a need to defend yourself the moon, this is about uh, fear, anxiety, secrets maybe. The queen of wands in reverse, we'll find out who this is, what this is. Prince of swords, some kind of communication, some kind of action. Five of wands, conflict, competition. 
Ace of Cups in reverse, the removal of feelings, the removal of love from a situation, creative block. Four of Cups in reverse, this is a lost opportunity. The oh, it's, Sometimes it's apathy and boredom and being stubborn as well. Strength in reverse, needing some inner strength to the Eight of Cups because of abandonment and disappointment. But lo and behold, the Princess of Wands, this is about exploration, discovery, communication maybe. King of Pentacles in reverse from somebody who used to hold title but doesn't. This is also worried about appearances and it's about failure as well. The Hermit in reverse, withdrawal, isolation, loneliness, the Empress, abundance, and temperance, purpose, patience, balance, moderation. The Three of Cups in reverse, stifled creativity, third party situation. The Ten of Pentacles, family, wealth, establishment, foundation. Two of Wands in reverse. I'm pulling extras, by the way. Two of Wands in reverse, fear of the unknown. The Five of Swords, um, conflict. King of Swords in reverse, angry, manipulation. The Queen of Swords, a decision. Wow, I can't find a stopping point. The Chariot, opposition, self-discipline, and judgment. Oh, there we go. To the Princess of Cups, the Prince of Pentacles, the Fool in Reverse. That's where we're stopping. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here. So we pulled 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 cards. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 is the number of reflection and assessment. So let's see what's going on here. Ready, Pisces? And you may hear my doggies in the background. One of them is trying to dig a hole in my carpet to find a place to, uh, to sleep. So you may hear them snoring. You may even see them walk around. Just saying. If you hear snoring, it's my dog. All right. Well, I wasn't ready for those, so I'm not going to take those. All right. Let's clarify. So the Eight of Swords in reverse to the Nine of Wands and the Moon. Pisces, what's going on here? What are you releasing in your mental? What are you moving on from in the mental? The Ten of Pentacles. Hopes of something huge? Let's see. We have the Ten of Pentacles to the Hermit, Isolation, Loneliness, Withdrawal, a Fall from Grace, a State of Disrepute, Seven of Pentacles, Lack of, um, lack of Success, Lack of a Long-Term Vision to the Emperor. Okay, okay, I see. So you're giving up on some kind of hope. Okay. Now, the way that this works for me is that I'm going to go through and I'm going to clarify. I'm going to sew together the story and then I'm going to go from the top and I'm going to read it again. So seeing me clarify this reading may not make any sense to you. That's why I'm going to timestamp it so you can move forward if you want to. Some people enjoy this, though. This is what I do before I hit click on the on the camera. OK, so this is behind the scenes at Deep Thoughts with Dana. <laughs> OK, the moon. To the high priestess, okay, fears, anxiety, subconscious mind, intuition, to the high priestess. This is also intuition, subconscious mind. These are both the cards of Pisces, by the way. To the queen of wands in reverse. To the queen of wands upright, five of wands in reverse. And the six of pentacles in reverse. So the Queen of Wands in reverse to the Queen of Wands upright, Five of Wands in reverse, an increased focus on goals to the Six of Pentacles, one-sided, not giving and receiving. Okay. Okay, I see. I see what's going on here. And then taking some action with the Prince of Swords. I know you don't see. Well, you might see, right? Oh, by the way, if you want to learn how to read the tarot, there's a link in the box below. I have a seven, seven video series that will teach you how to read the tarot like me. All right. All right. So the Prince of Swords taking some action for all of that. Understood. Five of Wands. Conflict, competition, Ace of Cups, the removal of love. Tell me about this Five of Wands right here. Tell me about this. Why is why is Pisces have so much conflict? The High Priestess, the Moon, the Queen of Wands in reverse. What What is all of this about? Ace of Cups in reverse. 
the Tower in reverse, to the Ten of Cups, Justice, and the Hierophant. What is going on here? What is going on here? I see two different, I see two different, I see the bottom spread as being Pisces, and then I see the clarifying cards as being another message. Hold on a second. Four of Cups in the center of the reverse. This is just a missed opportunity, apathy, boredom, strength in reverse to the Eight of Cups. What is this about right here? What is this Four of Cups in reverse about? Let me make sure this camera's still recording. Sometimes it freaks out. Okay. Okay. The Wheel in reverse. Missed opportunity, a change in cycles, strength, the Eight of Cups, the Three of Cups. Okay. Yeah, see, there's two different, there's a, a spread and then a subspread going on here. And the Eight of Cups. Okay, I see. Princess of Wands. This is the, this is the missing piece that I'm looking for here to the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Page of Wands. Wow. Same thing, right? Two, the Princess of Wands, the Page of Wands, is the same thing. Okay. To the Hermit in reverse. Isolation, loneliness, withdrawal. Tell me more about this Hermit in reverse right here. What is this Hermit in reverse right here about? What is this Hermit in Reverse here about? The Five of Cups in Reverse. All right, yeah, moving on. Gotcha. Now, why the Empress? Why the Empress? Moving on. Setting the burden down. Okay, understood. Temperance, because you've been patient for a long time. Patience, patience. King of Swords to the Hangman. Temperance, interesting. Balance, patience, purpose, moderation, decisions, Hangman, truth. Tell me about this King of Swords right here. What is this King of Swords about? The Magician. Okay. Stifled Creativity, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Fear of the Unknown, Five of Swords, Angry Queen of Swords. All right, you know what? I'm going to um, I'm going to clarify these as we go. I do want more thinking. All right, we already got the hangman with that. Okay, Spirit, what is the Fool in Reverse about? That's what I want to know. The Six of Swords in Reverse. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing here. Bear with me, Pisces, and then we will read this spread. The Emperor on the bottom of this deck, by the way. Okay, so giving up, understood. The High Priestess. Tell me more about... Tell me more about this Prince of Swords right here. Well, hmm, Prince of Swords. Communication, action-oriented communication coming in. The Moon, the High Priestess. Let's try again. Spirit, tell me about this Prince of Swords right here. What is Queen of Cups in reverse, emotional insecurity? To the high priestess. Okay. Tell me what else, spirit. Anything else that's happening here. Anything else. The six of cups. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. All right. I understand. All right. So we are at 1440-ish. If somebody wants to drop a timestamp, if I forget, that would be amazing. Okay. So this, it's interesting because we open up with 
things and then the resolve is at the end. So what's going on here, Pisces? Well, the eight of swords in reverse. This is releasing the mental, the mental imprisonment about something, right? You're releasing it. The nine of wands, resistance, persistence. You have been in the eight of swords upright, okay? You've been in the eight of swords upright for a, a good minute here. You really have. And now you're coming in the persistence and the resistance, um, the persistence, the persistence and the um, perseverance, right? That you have, that you have had for whatever this situation is, you've had for a good long minute, but now you're releasing it. It's like, it's not happening, right? What have you been holding on to? Well, the hopes of a 10 of pentacles type of situation, whether this is job, work, or love, you've been holding on to the hope that something of substance and foundation was going to happen to the hermit in reverse, but it's isolation, loneliness, and withdrawal, right? It's not happening. It's not happening. The six of wands fall from grace, a state of disrepute. It's just not happening. There is no success. There is no victory. The seven of pentacles in reverse. This is lack of a long-term vision, right? This is this is limited success or reward. You haven't whatever this is that you've been holding on to and hoping that it will happen in your life has not. And it has to do with the emperor. This is either a person that you've been holding on to. Or this has to do with the foundation, the structure of your life. You've been holding out for this, and it's just simply not happening. Okay? Just simply not happening. To the moon. This is your subconscious mind, your intuition, fears, anxieties. To the high priestess. So what you're doing in the moon energy, the card of Pisces, to the high priestess is you're searching your subconscious mind. You're releasing the anxieties with the eight of swords in reverse, right? You're just like, I just, I give, I give up on it all. I do. I just give up on it. I'm going to change direction. I'm going to change focus. I give up on it. And the high priestess is the more positive aspect of your subconscious mind and your intuition. And this is confirmation to the moon energy that yes, yes, it's time to give up on this whole thing. The queen of cups in reverse. So this is love. So this is removing your feelings about a situation. And that's what you've decided to do in your own energy, the moon and the high priestess, right? You just don't feel it. You don't feel it happening and you're giving it up. The queen of wands in reverse. This is somebody who is insecure, right? So whatever this situation was, while you were waiting on it, inside your passions, okay? Inside your, your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? inspirations okay your inspiration for whatever it is that you've been waiting and holding out for whether it's a person with the emperor or something that has to do with substantial um foundation of your life you are tired of being emotionally insecure about it you're tired of you're just tired of it you're tired of being mad about it you're just tired of it and you are turning from the queen of, queen of Wands in reverse to the Queen of Wands upright. This is you refocusing your passions, your inspirations, your aspirations to something that you feel is more realistic, right? The Queen of Wands, she's about success and achievement. And you have found no success and achievement in this situation. And now you are refocusing in the Moon and the High Priestess. You're withdrawing your emotions. You're closing this out. And you are moving forward, okay? The Prince of, um, yeah, I'm sorry, to the Five of Wands in reverse. This is an increased focus on goals, right? This is you deciding to shut this chapter of your life and move forward into something that's a little bit more realistic for you to obtain or attain, 
right? Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is one-sided. So whatever it is that you've been waiting on, you feel like you're the only person that has an interest in this. And anybody else in the in the situation is just not interested. Just just not interested. Well, lo and behold, behold, look at this, the Prince of Swords. This is this is action oriented communication coming into you about the Six of Cups reuniting and reconciling. So what this whole top row here says to me, and I do believe um, that this emperor is dual purpose here. So what this whole top row here says to me is that you were really hooked on something for a long time, okay? You were really hooked on it for a long time. Um, you were persistent and resilient. You did not give up. You held out hope for a very long time that s s this was going to come through and and actually be the Ten of Pentacles for you. But you gave up. You're like, this hasn't happened. It's been a long time. I'm worn out and it hasn't happened. I'm withdrawing my emotions in my intuition, in my subconscious mind. It's just not happening. There's no indication to me, for me in any way whatsoever, that this is worth holding on to. And you give it up. You give it up in, and you change your focus and your direction to that of success and achievement, right? To success and achievement, you have an increased focus on goals and you have come to the conclusion that this has all been one-sided, whatever this is, and it's not, it's just not going to happen for you. And you gave up, totally gave up on it. Okay. That's the queen of wands in reverse. Also giving up. She, 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 you just gave up on it. But lo and behold, now there is some action oriented communication rushing into you with the Prince of Swords about either family and home or reuniting and reconciling with someone from your past. Okay? If it's about family and home, it goes right back to that emperor, which is about the structure and establishment of your life. If it's about reuniting with someone from your past, this emperor is this person from your past that you've been holding out for. Okay? Either way, you've been holding out for something that is very important to you, gave up on it, and now information and communication is rushing into you about either reuniting and reconciling with someone from the past or some kind of family issue, okay? Five of Wands. This is about um, conflict, right? Defeat. And that's, and that's how you felt, defeat. The Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, this is about... Um, the withdrawal of your love. See, it's right underneath the nine of wands, right? Just worn out, just not doing it anymore. So I just withdrew my love, like the queen of cups up here, right? Withdrew my love. The tower in reverse comes in. This talks about a personal transformation. And this personal transformation right here is being brought on by this Prince of Swords, this action oriented communication that's coming into you about the Six of Cups. So the Tower in Reverse is some kind of change in the way that you see or believe about something, okay? The Ten of Cups, this action oriented communication that's coming into you about reuniting or reconciling with someone from your past or about family, home, and children. See, this is a general reading. I'm sequestered to the if, ands, and buts. If this was your personal reading, we would pinpoint what this is, okay? I would be, I, I, I could use the who, what, where, when, why, and how, but I can't do that in a general reading because I don't know who the hell I'm talking about, who I'm talking to. It's just so ambiguous. So I'm doing the best that I can, right? So personal transformation to the Ten of Cups, right? That brings a, a sense of harmony and stability into your feelings, into some kind of relationship. Justice comes in and talks about truth being served and karmic law, universal law being, being um, um, applied here. To the Hierophant, this is all about 
communication. I mean, this is commitment. I was looking at the Prince of Swords as I reached over here. It's all about some kind of commitment. Spirit, tell me what this group of cards is about. What is happening here? Is this the uh, Prince, of, Prince of Swords coming in? You know, the Hierophant is family, right? It's family. It's commitment. It's institution. It's your career. It is anything that is rooted in the word commitment. Spirit, tell me about this, please. What is this Hierophant about? What is the root of all of this? What's going on here, Spirit? What is happening right here for Pisces? What is happening right here for Pisces, please? Strength in reverse, needing some inner strength. But what else? Why? Why? Whoa. Why? Okay, here's why. Here's why. Okay, so what's happening is that there has been a breakdown in communication with the Four of Wands in reverse. There is a fall from grace, a state of disrepute, second times the Six of Wands has been in this reading. Fall from grace, state of disrepute, no success, no progress, no communication, nothing. Total ghosted. Knight of Swords, there it is again. There is communication that is rushing into you. Temperance in reverse. Um, and the problem is, is that you've already healed from this situation, right? You closed it out up there. You've already healed. Page of Cups in reverse. This is about a blockage of creation. So you have already healed and blocked the creation of all of this. You completely and totally gave up. Yeah, look, missed opportunity, lost opportunity with the Four of Cups in reverse. You've closed this out of your life completely and totally. And then look what happens. You get rushing communication coming in about, I think it's about reuniting and reconciling because we have the three of cups in the center of the reading and messages of, of passion. Okay. So you put it where it goes for you. I'm going to read this as if it were reuniting and reconciling. Okay. Cause that's what I see. Like I said, if hands and butts instead of who, when, where, why, and how. So this communication comes into you, right? Causes a lot of conflict because you've already withdrawn your emotions. The tower in reverse. The tower in reverse. Let me see. Tower in reverse. Averting disaster, fear of change, personal transformation. It's a personal transformation. Because this person is bringing in messages about reuniting and reconciling, and you haven't talked to them in forever. There's been no communication. There's been no action. I mean, it's just been dead silent. And Pisces has carried about their business and gave up on it. And now this is coming in. The personal transformation with the tower in reverse. Um, I think that this communication that's coming into you is about this person's personal transformation okay to the ten of cups personal transformation now they want a harmonious um aligned relationship with you justice comes in they want justice and the hierophant they want commitment that's what that's what's going on here that's what's going on four of cups in reverse right this was a lost opportunity yeah i can't stress enough how much there's been zero happening here it comes out of nowhere. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But now there's a cycle change to the Three of Cups. And this person wants to reunite. Get together and talk, right? Strength in reverse. Needing to pull on a lot of inner strength, right? To the Eight of Cups. Because there was disappointment and abandonment before. You were disappointed. You abandoned the situation. And, and you're trying to pull on some inner strength. Temperance, right? Waiting, patience. You have waited a long time to the Ace of Wands for this inspired action to happen. The Ace of Cups in reverse. This is just emotional withdrawal. The withdrawal of your emotions. Patience. Balance. Moderation. Waiting for something to happen here. And it didn't. So you abandoned ship and you withdrew your emotions. But now look. The Princess of Wands, right? I don't know if y'all can see these in the camera. The Princess of Wands comes in and talks about um, 
exploration, excitement, discovery, messages, passionate. Okay. Now they don't have to be passionate. Like, like, uh, you want to go get a hotel kind of passionate, right? They are, um, passionate as in inspired messages coming from this other person to you, to the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that used to hold title in your life. They used to be a part of your life, but in the reverse, they are no more. So messages coming in from someone who used to be involved in your life, but isn't anymore. Yeah, look, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is a lack of focus, right? This is the last thing that was on your mind when it's just there's been nothing being built here. Clarified by the Page of Wands again, somebody wants to build. Somebody wants to build. The Hermit in reverse. Isolation, loneliness, and withdrawal. To the five of cups in reverse, moving on, right? You have moved on from this situation to the empress, right? You're okay. You're just perfectly good. The four of wands, you have structure and stability in your life. You have, you have all of it under, you've gotten your mind wrapped around this. You've gotten your inspirations wrapped around this, your emotions wrapped around this, your sense of security wrapped around this. And now you are the culmination of all four queens in the deck coming through as the empress with the four of wands. You have your own structure and stability. You have your own harmony in your life. But this also tells me that you as the empress right here, um, there's a soul connection to this person, okay? A soul connection, hence the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the, the Four of Wands, the Empress. There is a soul connection, the High Priestess to this person. But the Page of Cups in reverse, this is a, <coughs> excuse me, this is a creative block, right? You've blocked creation, creation was blocked, nothing is happening to the Ten of Wands, and you gave up that burden and struggle a long time ago. Now temperance comes in, talks about balance, patience, purpose, moderation. To the King of Swords, clarified by the Magician, and the Hanged Man. So balance, patience, purpose, moderation, making decisions, executing decisions with the King of Swords, speaking truth to the magician. The Two of Wands looking into your future. Hold on. Four of Pentacles, right? Not real sure. Not real sure. Queen of Swords in reverse. Icy to the page of wands when it comes to these three page of wands. Wow, somebody's coming to communicate with you, Pisces, in a fast and passionate way. So temperance to the king of swords, magician, the hangman, the two of wands, the king of swords. Okay, okay, the king of swords is this person speaking their truth to you. They are coming in as the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Pages of Wands three times. They want commitment. They want a Ten of Cups relationship. And they want it now. And they want it now. Temperance. This is you, Pisces. This is Spirit, uh, Major Arcana, saying, saying, temper yourself, okay? Don't say no. Don't say yes. Don't say Fuck off. Temper yourself. Okay? The King of Swords. Listen to this person's truth. To the magician. Manifestation. This is magician here is, is actually about um, communication. Honestly. This person, this magician is representing the communication. of th This person is manifested is trying to manifest you into their life. They're speaking their truth with the King of Swords, right? Um, and Temperance is saying, listen, hear them out. Hear them out, Pisces. Just be tempered, okay? Be tempered. Hear them out. They're speaking their truth. They're communicating, playful. It's, it's, it's a warm, fuzzy, good feeling, right? And this puts you in the hanged man. And that's why I say spirit is saying hear them out because it's the magician representing communication, okay? 
The hangman, this is spirit saying, and this is the card of Pisces as well. We have three Pisces cards in here. The hangman, this is spirit saying um, to pause. Pause, process. Yeah, look, you're at a cross, crossroads. Pause, process. Think about everything and come out on the other side with a new perspective. What Pisces is thinking about in the hangman energy is being at the crossroads to the seven of swords, the betrayal, the deception, the deceit, the shady behavior from the past. The past because the six of cups is here, right? Um, the eight of swords in reverse. This is releasing, being open to new perspectives, to judgment in reverse, ignoring the call, right? So this is Pisces in the hangman energy, just tossing everything around. Look at that, the three of swords in reverse. This is forgiveness, this is forgiveness that Pisces is contemplating in the hangman energy. The two of wands looking towards the future. The four of pentacles looking towards the future, but not real confident that that um, it's a need for self-protection, right? Just not real confident. Queen of swords in reverse, holding some residual saltiness, right? Holding some residual anger to the page of wands. And all of this is about how you are going to respond to this communication from this person. Page of wands three times. Because this person wants the ten of cups, justice and commitment. Three of Cups in reverse, third party situation to the Ten of Pentacles is what ruined this the last go round. The last go round, there was a third party situation, family, friends, too many people, cheating, um, a third party situation somehow, some way, not enough time, too much work, not enough commitment somehow, some way, spreading themselves around to other people, um, just too many people involved, right? And that was the, um, the, the, the reason that the Ten of Pentacles couldn't be um, created before, but now they want the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, right? They want it all. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles, please. I had a flipper, but I'm not sure where, where we go. How about this? Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Yep, look, Ace of Pentacles. They want to manifest a brand new op a brand new beginning with you. They want to manifest a brand new opportunity. Pentacles in the realm of security, right? So this message that's coming in with passion um, is is coming in with with passion and and Taurus, <laughs> Taurus, right? Um, Taurus and Pisces. Um, the message, the, the passionate messages that are coming in are causing Pisces to reevaluate this opportunity in the realm of security. Ten of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles, right? Can I count on this? Is this going to go into the future? The Ten of Wands, right? Burden, struggle, Ace of Swords, confusion, not enough information. Two of Wands in reverse, fear of the future, fear of the unknown. The Five of Swords, because there was betrayal and deceit in the past. King of Swords in reverse. This person misused their power. Somehow, some way, this person screwed you over in the past. And you're not real sure if you want to re-engage with this person. The Queen of Swords. This is uh, Pisces speaking their truth. This is the King of Swords in reverse to the Queen of Swords. Is this Pisces spirit speaking their truth right here? Is this Pisces speaking their truth? What's going on right here? What's going on right here? Let me check on this camera. Okay, cool. We're good to go. Um, Queen of Swords. Is this Pisces right here? What is this? Who is this Queen of Swords? What is this about? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is about an overinvestment. The lack of fruition and attainment. Yeah, this is you, Pisces, as the Queen of Swords, making decisions about this situation look to the king of wands this is who you're talking about right here talking about this is the person that is bringing this information into you we have the chariot in reverse talking about self-discipline okay the need for self-discipline to the judgment card the need for self-discipline in order to make a clear and logical and reasonable um 
decision in this matter because the decision that you make here is going to change the trajectory of your life. It's going to change the trajectory of your life. It's a black and white yes or no decision. Princess of Cups making a decision about creation, about the message of creation that has come through to you. To the Prince of Pentacles, it's been a long time coming. You have been waiting on this so long that you actually squashed it and wiped the table clean and it's no longer even in your focus. When it comes to looking into your future with the Prince of Pentacles, that's what this judgment card is about. It's about you um, looking into the future to see if there can be creation. The Fool in Reverse talks about not wanting to be foolish, not wanting to be reckless when it comes to this decision-making process. But the Six of Swords in Reverse says two things to me. It says you're stuck and you can't move on from this person. And it also talks about being a lot of water under the bridge, a lot of baggage. Devil in Reverse. Yeah, you've done detached from this person. To the Hermit, now you're doing some soul searching and some introspection. To the Five of Cups, about the loss, regret, despair in the past. And the Six of Swords, right? The regretful but necessary transition. Is that what Pisces, is that the end card here? Is that what Pisces does? Five of Swords in Reverse, a lot of resentment. And the seven of pentacles in reverse, second time, talking about limited success or reward. And that's what Pisces is struggling with. So Pisces, that's your reading. That's what you're struggling with right here. You are struggling with um, if this is something that you want to go forward with or not. And I know that a lot of the other readings on YouTube are saying the same thing. This is just my version of what everybody else is saying, right? Because it's the planetary, it's the planetary thing. That's why, that's the string of the general readings, right? Is that whatever, let's just hypothetically say Mars is over here Venus is over here Jupiter's over here this is how it all trines with Pisces and this is the energetic thing that's going on in the Pisces energy but the only way to know your true story is to get your own cards read because nobody's chart is the same right their astrological chart even though there's all these planetary positions that are radiating the same kind of energy everybody's internal story is completely different, right? But that's what this general reading says for you, Pisces. You have somebody coming back. Definitely have somebody coming back. Um, Page of Wands three times, wanting to speak with you, wanting to, wanting the Ten of Cups and justice and commitment. They want to create a new beginning with you. And Pisces is on the fence about it because number one, it comes out of nowheresville, right? Nowheresville. It just, it just comes out of nowhere after Pisces has closed all of this down and kind of forgotten about the whole thing. Um, minus the little bit of heartache that was residual, right? Um, and, uh, Pisces is on the fence. They're like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. But I tell you what we are going to do. There is going to be an extended reading here in just a minute. Um, I'm just going to keep on taping like this for YouTube. So this is where the free general readings on YouTube stops for the Collective of Pisces. And we are going to go over to Vimeo. For two bucks, you can watch the extended reading. And I'm going to dig into who this Emperor King of Wands person is, what their true intentions are, and what they really want um, from Pisces, okay? So y'all follow me over to Vimeo, and this is where this video will stop. Namaste.